Okay. I am here with the legendary Greg Capillo. It is my honor to ask you questions. Oh, my uh, God. thanks, Gail. Honorable. Pleasure to meet you. I, I've been your fan ever since, you know, Sp the, F Spawn first came out. I mean, I was around like 11 or 12 at the time. Yes, I'm You're a very old man. I yeah. know. Thanks for rubbing it, Kale. <laughs> You're a hell of a guy. You're really warming okay. up to me right away. My question is, how do you feel being one of the most well-known artists in the past decade? I mean, probably more than a decade now. You know, I'm, I'm a lucky guy, right? Because uh, there's a lot of dogs trying to eat off that one little bowl called comic books. And I'm one of the lucky guys that, you know, fans have shown love to me. And, I mean, it's what I've wanted to do since I was, like, eight years old, you know? So it's just a dream come true, man. It's all good. And I, and I love all the fans and all the support, man. It's fantastic. Including you, man. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I know you're with DC right now. How's, I, I mean, you're with DC. You've been with Image for, like, forever. But, like, how does it feel working with DC? Are you a contractor with them? Or is it just a freelance thing? No, no. They, they, they kind of both Marvel and DC. They want you under contract, you know? So I am under under contract and uh, and it is strange because you know I never thought of myself as being with image as much as I thought of being with Todd because you know he's kind of almost like a separate entity from the rest of the company in a way and uh, but it's that's the weird thing because it's like we were buddies you know at first he was my boss then he was my boss and my buddy and now we're like buddies and you know so being away from him after like I don't know, however long it was with 15 years or more it's a little strange but I'm in a good time at DC and they're all they're treating me well and, and I'm on Batman so where, where's the downside of doing Batman right so any advice for any upcoming artists uh, you know as I mentioned you know it, it's 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 one little dog bowl and and there's a lot of dogs who want to do this and uh, so what do you have to do, right? It's just like uh, want to be a champion boxer, man. You got to train harder than the other guy because you, you know, you got to be able to knock out the competition because there's so much competition. So what you got to do, man, is, is you got to work your ass off. You can say good luck, good luck with that. You know, no, no, you work your ass off and uh, you be persistent and have a thick skin because you're going to take a lot of uh, criticism from editors and stuff like that. You got to take it all in stride. Follow their advice because those are the cats that are going to give you work and just work your ass off. You know what I mean? It's 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 not a joke, man. You got to think of it as going into a prize fight. I got to knock that guy out. So just work your ass off. That's the advice. Good advice. Thank you very much. Uh, my I, pleasure, Gail. I hope to work with you in the future. You'll probably you. be my. You're, you're definitely going to be my boss. <laughs> oh, no, I don't know about that. What are you? Are you a writer and artist? I'm a writer and I do cover art. Oh, fantastic, man. So you you got a broad palette then. You can do either or. Yeah, uh, mostly writing is my forte. Double threat right there, man. <laughs> There's the double threat. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you very much. Well, man, good luck with hard work. I know. Thank you. <laughs> All right, man.